the instant hack of being confident? The simple answer is state change. Today we're gonna go over what is a state change, why it matters, and most importantly, how to do it. State change is often referred to that quick process in order to go from one state to another. A good example of this is let's say you were sad because you had a terrible day, but somebody comes in and tries to tickle you and all of a sudden you're in a good mood and you're laughing. And even just for a moment, you change your state from a very sad, depressive state to something joyful and fun, which demonstrates exactly what we tend to do is that we look for something external to change our states. Let's say coffee in the morning from a groggy person in the morning to somebody upbeat and ready to take on the day. In that case, we're using coffee as an anchor to change our state. Oh wait, hold on. What is an anchor? So let's say I'm a coffee person in the morning. I'm very groggy. Ugh, I don't like today. And then we're gonna use this coffee mug and coffee in it as our anchoring tool. But the anchoring itself is when I actually drink the coffee and the caffeine is my anchor to go, <gasps> I'm in a different state. I'm ready to take on the day. But how do people do it without having coffee in the morning? Some people, their anchoring is actually making their bed. Once they make their bed, they feel like they're ready to take on the day. The point being, it doesn't really matter what you anchor yourself to. That's on anchoring. Anchoring is used quite frankly everywhere from public speakers, performers, to sales individuals to get themselves into a certain state. Usually a more confident person, a person with authority. I will say, not all speakers love the concept concept of anchoring. Let's say your anchor is to chew gum before you go on stage. Then what happens? You're so dependent on that anchor to get you into a certain state that if for some reason gum does not exist, all of a sudden you don't know how to do a state change without the anchor. You can see how this can put you in a very vulnerable position. So you want to be able to do a state change without an anchor. And by the way, it's important to note that an anchor shouldn't be something that you do all the time. It should be something out of the norm. When it comes to state changes, I want you to notice two key things posture and breath. Imagine for a moment a person who is in a deep meditative state. They're sitting down, they're breathing, they're calm their up posture. And then imagine for a second, somebody who is running a marathon. They're running, they're out of breath, and they're going, uh, they, they have a very certain posture. All you have to do if you wanna be in a certain state is take on that exact posture and breath. I'm gonna run you through an exercise if you're driving or something like that, obviously don't do it. But if you're in front of your computer or cell phone and it is safe to do so, go ahead and do this exercise with me. I want you to go ahead and stand up and close your eyes. Now I want you to remember a time in your life when you saw something you absolutely wanted. I mean really wanted. On a luster scale of 0 to 10, it had a luster scale of 27. Remember a time in your life you saw something you really wanted, you decided you're going to get it no matter what, and made a plan. You put that plan into operation and no matter what got in your way, no matter what obstacle you went over, around, or through, underneath, you put that plan into operation and boom, you got what you wanted. Home run. You got exactly what you wanted. I want you to remember that moment of absolute victory. I want you to see what you saw, hear what you heard, smell and taste what you smelled and taste because when you do that, when you see what you see, hear what you heard, smell and taste what you smelled and taste, there's an amazing feeling that you get, a feeling of absolute victory. I can do this. I'd like you to notice how you were standing in that moment of victory, how you were breathing in that moment of victory. I want you to stand that way now, breathe that way now. And I'd like you to become aware there's a place in your body where those wonderful feelings start, where they grow and where they're bred from. Take a moment, point to where you feel it. Look at it with your inner eyes. i like you to take a moment to notice a color or a series of colors connected to that amazing feeling. What color or colors do you see? 
having a big ball and then float it above your head. It's a big ball above your head and now we're making it bigger and bigger until it fills the whole room from ceiling to floor all around the corners. It's filling the whole entire room and now your whole body is covered with this color. Wrap it all around you, all the way around your body. Breathe it through your entire being and let it go into you and just test to see if it's truly in your body and in throughout the room. Just test to see it really fast. And once you know it's filled your whole entire body and filled the whole entire room, go ahead and open your eyes. Now notice your posture and your breath. Whatever that posture or breath is, that is where you need to be whenever you want to be in the state of success. Now that was one exercise, but you can basically do this for any state you wish to be in. If you want to be in a fun social state, then you do that same exact exercise, but drawing from a time when you were fun and social, and then take on the posture and the breath of that moment. Embody it, embody it. In order to anchor it, if you want to do so, is when you're in that state, do a certain motion. And every time you practice, practice this state, do the certain motion. So it could be this, it could be this. And do something physical that'll remind you to get you in that state. The cool thing is if you do this enough times on your own, you can remember that posture and breath work and simply go into that state. Now that you've done your state change, I have a quick challenge for you. If you're willing to do this every morning for one week, comment below. If this was helpful to you at all, then please give me a like because it really helps get this video out into the YouTube world. <laughs> and comment below if you're willing to take on this state change challenge. State change challenge. I will see you on the next video.